You wanted to speak with me, Josephine. Yes. Sorry to bother you, boss. But the name George Bailey keeps coming up. Yes, I know. I think we should probably send someone down. Whose turn is it? Clarence, the clockmaker. Ah, Clarence. He still doesn't have his wings, does he? No, he doesn't have his wings. He doesn't, well, he doesn't have a whole lot going for him, boss. <laughs> he has faith, Josephine. A strong and simple faith. Seems to me that's exactly what George Bailey needs right now. Send for Clarence. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Clarence. Someone needs our help. His name is George Bailey, and he's about to throw away God's greatest gift. His life? His life. Oh, dear. It will be your mission, Clarence, to change his mind. I have a mission? Uh, sir, Clarence, you, you do a good job, and you'll get your wings. Oh, thank you, sir! Josephine. Yes, sir? I'm turning this over to you. Brief Clarence on his mission. Yes, sir. I have my eye on the sparrow I must attend to. Good luck, Clarence. Thank you, sir. Come on, Clarence. Let's go. Go? Where? Into the past. Past? George Bailey's past. George! George! Wait for me! George! It's too dangerous! What? What are you gonna do? We're gonna slide down the hill across Potter's Pond on, on these snow shovels. You're too little. I am not! R2! Now scram! I'm telling Mom! Mom! Okay, okay! I... I, I can come? Yeah. <gasps> Hooray! I'm gonna slide further than anybody! <laughs> Don't go too far now. It's it's thin out in the middle there, Jordan. There, there, Harry. I'm not scared, George!
Work. 
they'd have jobs. Mr. Parker, a lot of these folks have families, children. I cannot just evict them onto the streets. They're not my children. Is this a business or a charity war? Pop, I, I, I need your advice. These, these pills are... George, don't... not now. Your father's in a meeting. Mr. Parker, how do you know it? You have more money than you could ever possibly spend. So I should just give it all to miserable failures who can't pay their debts? Or miserable failures like you and that idiot brother of yours with your shoestring building and loan? Hey, you, you can't say that about my brother. George. I'm saying that about you, Pop. George. But all I'm asking for, Mr. Pop, is 30 more days. 30 days? 30 short days. Might as well be 30 years. I could put any real pressure on these people to pay their debts. Pop, I, I, I need it. George, not now. We'll talk about the step. Mr. Potter, come back here. 30 short days. That's all I'm asking, and I will find you your $5,000. Oh, have 
And maybe for the boss they are, but I'm not the boss, Josephine. For me, 200 years is 200 years, sometimes more. And I still don't have my wings. Say, I, I better get going. Oh, packing for your big adventure, eh? Oh. Well, with this new suitcase, it will be my magic carpet for a thousand one nights. Plenty of room for labels from Big Daddy Lee and Sam Arcan. My life's about to begin, Mr. Gower. Thanks. Oh, you're more than welcome, George. Hey, what boat are you sailing across on again? Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to make my way across on a cattle boat. A cattle boat? What can I say? I like cows. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Mr. Gower. Sure, 
Relations Committee. And we only need a couple dozen because... Oh, well, no, you don't. Not my best Haviland. Oh, what about the points? And the car. And the car. Ganging up on me. Probably. It's the last chance we're going to get. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Yahoo! Mother, you're a peach. George. Right. Sorry. He's going to miss you. I'm going to miss him. Your father will miss you at the building alone. Yeah, Papa's awfully tired tonight. Oh, another tussle with Mr. Potter. Biggest one yet, I think. I'm worried about Papa. <clears throat> Father thought that putting Mr. Potter on board of directors would get him on our side a little bit. Didn't happen that way, that's for sure. No, it didn't. Potter. What do you suppose is eating that old buzzard anyway? Oh, he's sick, George. Sick in his mind, sick in his soul. <laughs> if he even has one. He hates everybody and anything he can't have. He's pop mostly.
George Bailey needed my help. He does. You said he was going to throw away God's greatest gift. He will unless you stop him. But why? He has everything to do with Patient, Clarence. Oh, I really want my wings. I know. Uh, are you sure we have the right George Bailey? I'm sure. Well, maybe the boss made a mistake. Remember who you're talking about. Oh, right. Oh, but George has this whole future ahead of him. So he does, and so do we. Patience, Clarence, patience. All right. Did George have fun at the dance? He met Mary there. Uh, the girl from the soda fountain? All grown up now. They won the Charleston contest. Oh, they did. <coughs> she said she loved him. Yes. Life just keeps getting better and better. Yes. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. We're wasting time. I want my wings. Clarence. I know. Patience. Remember that pool? Uh, the one Mary talked about under the gym floor? One of the boys at the dance got jealous. Jealous? Of what? Of George. George. Oh, you mean because of Mary? Yes. He opened the floor, Mary and George fell right in. Oh, my. <laughs> Yeah. 
What'd you wish for, Mary? Wouldn't you like to know? Buffalo gal, yeah, won't you come out tonight? Come no, out tonight. Tell me what you wish for, Mary. Tell me what you want, and I'll get it for you. Do you want the moon? Just, just say the word, and I'll, and I'll throw a lasso around the moon and pull it down to you. Is, is that what you want, Mary? I'll, hey, that's a good idea. I'll, I'll get you the moon, Mary. I'll take it. Then what? Then, then you can swallow it, and it'll dissolve it. And the moonbeams will shoot out the ends of your fingers and toes and, and out of the ends of your hair. Am, am I talking too much? Yeah, you're talking too much! How's that? <clears throat> Why don't you kiss her instead of talking to her to death? <laughs> Rabble, you talk about, isn't it? 
most of the pain working and living in this community. What's wrong with helping them work, pay, live and die in a couple of decent rooms in a bath? He's right, you know. Isn't there anything we can do? Let him finish. Oh, all right. To my father, people were good. But, but to you, a warped, frustrated little man, they're, they're cattle! When my father died, he, he was a wealthier man than he'll ever be. Maybe not in money, but in the things that matter. You'll never take control of the building alone, and you'll, you'll, never, you'll never rip it away either. It's going, you Bedford Falls needs this one horse institution. So people don't have to go on to you. But you, you're, you're all over here. You, you know what you want to do. Well, I, I, I need some fresh air.
Well, I hear things. Well, I suppose if I were a young girl alone in the big city, and somebody from my hometown offered to take me dancing, I'd go too. What's Sam Wainwright got you haven't got? Success? <laughs> Money? A life? A future? You're the one with the 
dangerous. I, I just came here to... I'm leaving. Good night. Good night. Thanks, ladies, why they called it our own. A necessity in time of crisis, George. You know, I'm willing to get 
guarantee your people too. Send them my way with their shares and I'll pay them 50 cents on the dollar. 50 cents? What time do you close up for today, George? Six o'clock, like always. Do you have enough money to make it through the day? If you run out, your depositors will panic. And if you close down early, they'll be lying the first thing in the morning to withdraw every last penny. Looks like the building and loan's going out of business, doesn't it, George? You never skip a trip, do you, Potter? We're gonna miss this one. Guess we better start looking through the walk pads. I got skills, and I'm really old. <laughs> I'm scared, George. We gotta make it a six, Uncle Billy. We gotta make it till six with money left. We don't have any. Yeah.
Yeah, that, that blast you've been secretly planning on. I guess it's not that secret. Here, uh, we'll split it up into those amounts. If, uh, if we make it to 6 o'clock, we'll, we'll have a toast. What time is it? Oh, it's almost... There you go.
saying? Say, nice window on Main Street you got here. Can you see Bailey Building and Loan from here? No, almost though. Maybe if you had a bay window. Got to the point, Ryman. No skin off my nose, Mr. Potter. I'm just your lovely rent collector. Give the word and I'll butt out. Keep my mouth shut. Do my job. Just say what's on your mind. Show me what you've got. We don't it. Like I said, we can't laugh off Bailey Park anymore. Look at this old map. Fifteen years ago, Peter Bailey starts up Bailey Park. You got half a dozen houses stuck here and there. Squirrels, buttercups, daisies, the old cemetery. Each year another house or two. But now look at this map. Bailey Park the way it is today. George Bailey's been busy the last two years. Dozens of the prettiest little homes you ever saw. Ninety percent owned by suckers that used to pay rent to you. Your partner's bill is becoming just that. Well, the Baileys haven't made a dime off any of that. No, not yet, anyway. Too busy helping people out. But it's only for you. You are not me. All right. No skin off my nose. There's no skin off my nose. But I got a feeling one of these days, who can be asking George Bailey for a bill? Why, I honor Yes, what is it? Senator! But what about the congressman? Hang the congressman. But he's waited an hour. And he can wait another hour. But, sir. Tell him if he leaves, I won't buy him another election. Send in George Bailey. Yes, sir. Well, I better go. No, no, stick around. Watch how I handle George Bailey. George! George, come in. Have a seat. How do you do? Cigar?
being an old maid. Well, well, well. 
well. Good morning, Mr. Carter. Bailey, you know my property manager, Ryan? I do indeed, Mr. Ryan. Oh, I see you have that morning paper there, Mr. Potter. What's the news? <laughs> oh, wait, I have, a, I have a few copies of that myself. <laughs> ah, Harry Bailey wins Congressional Medal. Well, sir, you just can't keep those Baileys down now, can you, Mr. Potter? <laughs> How does George pour a slap or two about it? Oh, he's very jealous, very jealous indeed. He only lost three buttons off his vest, puffing up his chest. <laughs> of course, George wanted to fight, and if he had, he'd have won two medals. <laughs> well, here, have yourself an extra copy of the paper to send to your friends, if you got any. <laughs> Same for you, Mr. Reinman. Not people. Just get off my own. All right, all right. That's it, Joey. Yes, sir. George fought the war right here in Bedford Falls. It's not any villains overseas, you know. <laughs> anyway, it's have yourself a nice day, Mr. Potter. You too, Mr. Reinman. Billy with the cash last night? He had it on his desk, counting it before we closed up. 
Nothing there? You can't find it? No. How much? Eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand? Oh my gosh, you could buy a whole house with that. Yeah. With four bedrooms and a cellar. I don't know what we're going to do. We, that, that, that money didn't belong to us. It, it belonged to our depositors. They, they trust us. Uh, uh, is there any place you could have hit it? I, I, I don't know, George. I, I don't know. Think, Uncle Billy, think! I, I can't think anymore, George. I, I, I've looked everywhere. I, I don't know where it is. This, it's got to be here somewhere. Well, do, don't you understand what's going to happen? This, this means bankruptcy, scandal, no, prison! No, George, I don't, I don't want it. this is going to jail, and it's... And it's not going to be me! George, no! Oh. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, George! I, I, I didn't mean to no. tell! George, I'm sorry! I, I don't know where it is. I didn't mean to lose it, George. I'll find it. Tommy and Jamie, how about setting the table? Is Susan going to 
time with the paper. Well, she got a prize for the paper, and it was a flower, but she tucked it inside her coat and didn't button up to keep from crushing it. I put her to bed, and the doctor says she'll be fine by morning. Doctor? Is she here? Is, is, is she running a temperature? A little one. 1996. <laughs> she'll be fine. This is drafty old house. But I might as well be living in a refrigerator. <laughs> George, what's wrong? N nothing. N nothing's wrong. Give my life insurance policy for me, for me will ya? Uh, all right, I'll, I'll get it. Where are you going? I'm going to see Zuzu. <laughs> something for me, but it, it's a secret. A secret? What is it? I, I want you to get some sleep. But I want to look at my flower. I, I know, I know. It's just that that's the secret. See, if, if you dream about the flower, then, then you'll see a whole, whole garden full of roses.
come and see me.
out and stay there. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Clarence. Time to earn your wings. Come on up. Come up. All right, Justine. Here I come. And here I go! Must be a lot 
I'll walk and you can fly. Uh, I can't fly, George. Oh, right, right. No wings. Well, come on, let's go. Well, where are we going? Home. Well, what home? You don't have a home. Hey, cut it out. Shut up. I'm, I'm going home, okay? I'm going home. Oh, he isn't going to like this, is he, Josephine? <laughs> Hey, everybody! Who let the drunk in when I wasn't looking? Huh? Hey, whoa! 
coming. Yeah, you. Come here, worthless. I just, uh, I just gonna get a drink. I thought maybe, maybe you could find me a drink there, Mr. Then I tell you not to come hand hands and miles here no more. You said you just wanted a drink? Drink this! Hey! 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 It's Mr. Hey! Coward! Mr. Coward! It's, it's, it's me, it's George Beale!
unless somebody I know sends them. This is a respectable boarding house, and I'm all right. Ask I, uh, proof, proof. I know everyone you know. Um, see, uh, your brother-in-law, Uncle Billy. You know him? Of course I know him. When did you see him last? Uh, uh, today, at, at the building. That's room. a lie. He's been in the insane asylum ever since his business went under. And if you ask me, that's where you belong, too. <laughs> Harry! Harry, I, I, I talked to him on the phone. He'll tell me. Harry! Well, <coughs> yeah, your, your son, my, my brother, Harry Bailey. How dare you! My son, Harry, broke through the ice on Potter's Pond and drowned at the age of nine. How dare you! How dare you! Who are you? I, I told you, I... Now don't you come near me. Get away. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. But he... Don't understand. He won the Congressional Medal of Honor. He... He saved every man on the transport. Every man on that transport died. Because you weren't there to save Harry from falling through the ice. Don't you see, George? You truly had a wonderful life. Can't you see what a mistake it would be to throw that away? Excuse me. 
warrants for your arrest. What in the world? Heaven Fox? Who are you? The ghost of Christmas present. <laughs> what? The joke, the joke. I don't know who you are, so I'm going to call the police. I suggest you do that. And while you're at it, why don't you tell them about what you have in your right hand desk drawer? What? $8,000 that someone else is being blamed for? I see you've been talking to Reinemann. If you... Somebody having a party? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. 
cold flew in all the way to Blizzard. Mary, how much of it went in New York? Oh, I left in the middle of it as soon as I got Mary's telegram. <laughs> Borrowed a plane. <laughs> a toast. A toast. To my big brother George, the wealthiest man in town. Yeah.